Um, I mean, we haven't potted in a while, so what we I think the last thing was Ye dropping out of Rolling Loud. Mm-hmm. Can I get can I get my take out of the way? <laughs> yeah, I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. Exonerate me from all of this. <laughs> um yeah, that was the last thing. It was Ye dropping out of Rolling Loud and it was kinda last minute. Mm. And um they announced Cuddy as a replacement. Yeah. And I saw a lot of people upset, you know, because you, you buy these tickets early. Right. So rightfully so, a lot of people would be, would be upset. Which led to a question for me, and this was just my own personal question, of the list of people, I, I, I saw Travis Scott's name floated around. I understand why maybe you can't really touch him right now. Mm-hmm. Still no Post Malone. I feel like I just a, saw him somewhere. festival headliner. A opening Weekend is on tour. Mm-hmm. I, I, it just stood out to me. That's the perfect spot. Go grab Post Malone. But anyway. I um, so don't think that's the perfect spot. But go ahead. No? For Post Malone? Rolling now? Yeah. Yeah, he has festival hit records. I don't think that's a normal festival. You're How saying so? for him or for Rolling Loud, it's not a good fit? I just don't <clears throat> think they are on brand with each other. Gotcha. They kind of are. I, 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 would think I could be wrong. It kind of are. Hey, listen, I'm not the festival guru. <laughs> <laughs> it just bugged me out when I saw, of all names, Kid Cudi. And that's not <laughs> nothing against Cudi. It was just when you see the the headliners, you, you genuinely think people that have festival hit records. This is not something ICE is coming up with. There are different boxes with your peers yeah. <laughs> and mm, the people yes. that should be your peers. Yes. Yes. And Kid Cudi is not in the Kanye box. No, that's true. But he does have a lot of big records, so him being that's uh, not a knock to Kid Cudi. Yeah, and Ice no. is not making. I'm just that trying to make up. it clear yes. that you know we're not. He, but I said I thought the same thing. He should be. I think Cudi should have been on Rolling Loud. Mm-hmm. He shouldn't have been Cudi announced as a been Kanye big name, West replacement. Not even that. I don't think that's he a should have been big name. Whatever night headliner. So what that's do you do? You just boost someone up from the the little names and no, you you grab a festival headliner. But if everyone's they, booked, everyone's booked. Or or they might have tried. Please. They might have tried. Guess what? Dirk is now the big name. That is true. Yeah. Problem easily solved. He's already paid. He would love for his name to be to bigger. Be first He's name. already probably the biggest person here. I'm gonna be honest, and 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 I might I, I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have done that. I'd have took Playboy Cardi first. At a festival, it's totally different with them Cardi fans. And they would have lost they would have loved that. To see Play, Playboy Cardi headline that festival. And if you didn't want to go that route, then I'm putting 3 6 Mafia or I'm going Legacy mm. up there. But no way on God's green earth. I got 10 other ideas before I'm thinking to put Kid Cudi up there. That's a good point. I, I don't say, know if that was Spice. I, say dirt, I don't even know if that was, that could have been Spice. I say Dirt. On Rolling Loud's part. We I don't felt know. like it was Spice. It could have been Spice. I felt like that was Spice. We're going to go get him. Yeah. And I bet you that Kanye probably felt like it was Spice too. And then that which is probably to, why he showed up. Which is why he shows up on Dirk set performing anyway. So now I'm not supposed to be here, and I'm a, I'm a special guest. Now this part I don't know to be true or not. I tried my hardest to verify it because I could not find the set. Yeah, rest in peace to MF Doom. I could. MF Doom would be so proud of Kanye. <laughs> Pulling off the mask shit? Just yeah. popping up like, Who knows who the fuck this is <laughs> Just some guy <laughs> But um, but yeah Cuddy go up there And they, they started You know Throwing shit That was fucked up though <sighs> Why? He's just up there doing his job And I'm doing mine As a Kanye fan down here who just found out that Kanye seven hours ago that Kanye? Hey, I didn't even know. I still thought he was coming out. Yeah, but uh, Cuddy ain't kick him off the set. So what? So, what? so? It's static. It's, look, it's static there. Uh-huh. I'm a Kanye fan. I bought these tickets to see Kanye, and now you're on stage. I'm not saying I agree with it, but I understand that fan being pissed uh, off. And, and I have the exact opposite take from Parks. I felt like this generation, it couldn't be any softer. We just sat with Lloyd Banks and heard him say they was throwing chairs bottles and of bottles piss. of piss on the stage <laughs> at Summer Jam. I was at that Summer Jam. You got to be built for it tough when that type of shit going on. They threw some water bottles at this nigga. Yeah. So, I do think uh, he could have moved somewhere else on the stage. I feel man, you on see, that. Hey, wait, 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 wait. No, that, that, and that's, that gets, that's and the that, artistry. And that that's, gets back to... Uh, 
Ice's point, well, mine and Ice's point earlier. If he got paid Kanye replacement money to be there, he didn't. I know he didn't. Him leaving told me he didn't. Yeah, that's true. Because if he did, that's true. Gonna yeah, you stand thing. there and you deal with some water bottles coming. No, your nigga, way. Bank said they stood there and stood and, and dealt with the piss. <laughs> yes. No, I remember the show he was talking about overseas where they Banks were racist said they and was, shit. He was like, holding up was so signs. Many. He said they should look like three hundred. Yes. Where the arrows was coming up. Yes. Bottles. That's how many and, bottles was being. And they thrown. had and a they certain had to time limit paid. that they had to stay. And we don't want we don't want anybody to get hurt. Of course, that should go without saying. All right. So let me ask you this. Right. Just I'm just playing devil's advocate now. Your opinion is he should have stayed and performed. No, that's not my opinion. Oh, okay. That's what I was. That's not my opinion. Yeah, because we better on stage when people threw some shit. We got the fuck off the stage. Like. <laughs> yeah, but that was, but that's my point. Yeah. That was also a show I probably didn't want to do. True. He probably didn't there was do a this few shit. shows uh, that uh, I did. Anything could go wrong here. And I'm out. Of Throw here. something. Say just, something. Just give me a reason. Be yeah. late. Be a dollar short. I'm not doing this shit. Got you. This look to me like he ain't really want to do it like that. Yeah. Gotcha. I ain't want to be here anyway. And I know y'all don't want me here. I don't want to be here. I'm out of here. I know y'all don't want me here. Y'all, I, y'all, y'all ain't giving me no love. I mean, a couple... Nick, you wanted... This is a Kanye crowd. Let's be real. Uh-huh. But, and now I walk out here. Listen, I'm going to tell y'all fans, I'll get rid of the smoke and mirrors. 96% of the time, an artist is on stage, and he says, if you do that again... <laughs> He probably he knows you you're going to do it again. Yeah, he's saying it to get true. you to do it again. Yeah, he, nah, he's actually egging you yeah, to do it, do it again. <laughs> and my contract yeah. states that if I'm in uh, harm's way, oh, yeah. y'all uh, got to pay me. Yeah, you better I'm believe I'm on stage. It. I already got my back in. I'm out of uh, yeah, here. I got, I'm, yeah, see you when I see you. Lord. But I want to see this relationship repaired, Cuddy and Kanye. I don't want to seem like I'm that guy. I do want to see the relationship be repaired because I don't really feel like they're beefing about nothing. I was going to say, I don't even remember what the actual... They're not beefing about nothing. No idea Somebody cool. during a rant said some shit, the other one didn't like it. or yeah. You know, the same shit Kanye always do with people, but he found a way to piece it up somehow. Yeah, I feel like those two have also... This is not the first time they've had this type static? of little no. quarrel. They've had static before. Yeah. If I'm him, I might have bodied the show. Just like on the... You know what I mean? Like... Body to show and not if you out. ain't want to be there. And he's looking for and an I out, got, and I got paid already. And I'm looking for an out. Good point. I think with Kanye and some other people out there, the relationship ain't real until it's kind of tested like that. <laughs> <laughs> we ain't been through nothing. Well, how the fuck can I speak to the relationship? Mm. I ain't seen how you act under different pretenses. Yeah. When you mad, when I'm mad, when she fine, when he broke. <laughs> when the check's still there, we when we gotta run. Oh shit, he can't run. <laughs> like you gotta learn shit about oh, your shit. friend in real fight. time. You learn he can't fight. Yeah, the fight. See, I learned early on in that. It, it took me one time of that to n- never expect any of my friends to be able to fight until I knew you could fight. Mm-hmm. I felt like that was unfair of me. That's because now it's some people that when it go down when we outside. I'm, I know you're not going to be I there. understand. I'm not mad at you. I yeah. understand you're not about to do, and that's wrong of me. No, no, no. My thing is, it don't be how well you can fight, because everybody can't fight. My thing is that you will fight. Nah, but sometimes you can't yes, even you really you can't hold. Do that. Yeah, you can't hold Everybody people. won't fight. I've been in that situation. I've been in that situation. Where my man's now a across the street. I'm, I'm about to get in a fight with a biker gang, motherfucker. Like, I can't hang out with you. No, nah, that's not right. Dead ass. But everywhere ain't for everybody. True. No, I, I'm agreeing with you. You could go to the basketball court or some shit with, with this person that we're talking about. It's like you can go to dinner with this person. You know what the fights break out at the court? <laughs> That's where you get stole. You found a nigga too hard. Pop. Oh, shit. What did what? No, you got to go to the courts where you got to create the full. You go into where fools is happening. Already running. Got <laughs> you got to go where it's an empty. Nah, There's also, some niggas over there. It's also good, y'all, to, y'all, know, y'all it's also good to know when you know now. I know he's not going to fight. Now I know we can go out and what to expect if some shit goes down. He's going to be across the street. That's hard, yo. Yeah, but that's hard. It's hard for me. Yeah. I'm not even going to lie. That's just, hard. Just hard. knowing that. Yo, yeah. not gonna, Again, you don't not, have to but be the It ain't hard because I don't want to fight today. I don't want to fight. I got a very simple question to let me know what's going on. Yo, do I need a gun or not? I don't That's my question for all of, hey, the popping brunch. The venues, right? Yeah. The the popping strip club, a show, a festival, a friend group, even. <laughs> That's Yo, good. do I need a weapon to do whatever you're saying? That's gonna alter my 
thinking. That's giving me all the information I need. That's true. Mm. Even in how you say yes or no, I'm a no. Yeah. And if I got to think that long, nah, I'm cool. Mm. And if the answer is yes, I'm calling niggas that's better with weapons than me. <laughs> or that don't mind using them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah not at all. It ain't just going to be me. <laughs> Shouldn't me? I got a career to pursue. Here's your bag. <laughs> Enough of daddy.